Welcome back. It's your host, Mr. Gray. I just want to thank you for tuning in on this fine day. If you are a returning subscriber, I just want to thank you once again for supporting my channel. If you are new to my, my channel and you have not watched one of my videos before, after this video, I ask that you please subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really helps when you guys support me that way. And I'm just glad that you found me. So anyway, into what we are going to talk about today. Today, we're going to talk about the Nike Vapor Waffle Sakai or the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle in black. So last week, which I believe it was last week, um, Nike sneakers dropped the Sakai Waffle blah, blah, blah in black in sale. And it retailed at $180. And I was fortunate able to get the black one, but I was not as fortunate on getting the sale one, which I, you know. I love the sale colorway, but I just was not that lucky this time. So anyway, um, I have reviewed a Vapor Waffle some time ago. Um, so same box, you know, nothing. You got that kind of embossed Nike going through the top of the box with the Nike symbol. And oh, well, hold on. Yeah, through the top of the box. And then you have Nike kind of going through the side. Well, through the side and the side <laughs> and the end of the box. But anyway, sorry, I'm being silly, guys. Either way, it's kind of your, your generic box um, for the Vapor Waffles. It's not like a special collab box or anything. Just trying to see if I had another box in here similar to it, but I do not. So anyway, um, I really don't have any reason to waste you guys' time here today. Um, what I'd like to do is, as usual, take you guys into the light box so we can get a very detailed review and be able to look at the um, different material on the sneaker. The sneaker has a lot of interest. It has, it has a lot of material. It has a lot of soul and of course, I'm sure there's been so many different colorways that have released um, That you guys have time to see that that soul is thick. It's like Tom Cruise um, Shoe so thick. Sorry Tom Cruise. I'm sure you're not watching my channel So you have no idea that I'm talking about you right now. But anyway guys without further ado We're gonna head over to the light box So into the light box as promised we have the Sakai vapor waffle right here in black once again, I was not fortunate enough to get it in sale. Would have been nice to be able to review both of them, but I was just not that lucky. This thing is Solomus Maximus. Are you not entertained? As I've reviewed, and I don't know, that review was probably over a year ago. I'm really not sure. It was been, it's been a minute. Um, the, the, the soles were thick then, and the soles are still thick. But it's, it's still... Um, <laughs> It's an interesting shoe. I put like I have so many shoes that are interesting, but this one, um, I, I say, really takes the cake. The the last one I reviewed, the Nike Offline Pack, was interesting, but this one is is up there. So as you can see, you have that that beautiful gum sole. I don't know. Some people probably don't like gum soles, but I do. Um, it's got a not, got a nice traction there. You can see right there. It's just it, it's pretty good there. It's really thick. It's not if you can see how how deep those are. Look, there's my finger. I guess if you don't know. My finger, how long my finger is, it doesn't help. But it, they're just, they're very deep grooves. Um, and this shoe has so many different materials in it. It's a very thick shoe. And let me just take out the, uh, the padding on the inside so we can kind of, you can see how soft it is here. Um, it's not like a hard shoe or anything like that. presses down pretty easy, as you can see. But um, let's start. So we've already started. <laughs> let's start with the sole. So we already talked about the outsole, how it has that gum outsole. But then you have the midsole, which is a lot of midsole here. So if you start with the outsole, you got one, one uh, part of the sole. Then you got two for the midsole, three for the midsole, four for the midsole. So that's literally four layers of sole. I mean, this shoe has more sole than James Brown, you guys. And I mean, and it's thick. It's Thicker than a uh, woman in Atlanta with a BBL. It's it's just it's ridiculously thick, uh, thick shoe. Um, you can even see it just has a wide base at the bottom of it. Not bad, but you know I can see you not you shouldn't have a problem. You shouldn't turn your ankle in a shoe like this with that has such a wide um, lower base to it. So um, moving along from the sole, if we, let's go to the shoestrings real quick. So as they typically, in their typical fashion, it has two laces um, going through each of the eyelets. Um, one um, actually pretty thick shoelace, shoelace here. And then you have a kind of a, a ribbon style. Let's, go on, let's get that little, there we go. And you actually have a ribbon style shoelace as well. So those are going through each eyelet. Um, 
going along with the double everything, you also have the double tongues here. And one of the tongues is, is if I remember correctly, hold on, I'm trying to, let's see. So it's almost really like one tongue is attached to the other tongue. It's not like two tongues going all the way down to the inside of the shoe. And it's not, it's really literally impossible to show. But it's really one tongue, but they kind of have a, and one connects to the other. But sorry, it's kind of hard to show that, guys. And on one tongue you have, let's clear that up there. You have Nike Sakai, and the other one you have Nike Sportswear. On the inside of the shoe, you on the sole, you have Nike Sakai. And I have a photo of that that's going to show that a lot better. Um, once again, like I said, in the fashion of doubling everything, you have the double swoosh, which if you're not looking really paying attention, you can almost miss it. <clears throat> I almost missed it, but I noticed it. I mean, I knew it was, sadly, I knew it was there because, you know, like I said, I reviewed the shoe before, but I kind of almost missed it. The only reason I paid more attention to it is because as I was looking or on the toe where all this suede was, I noticed it turned kind of a grayish black here. And I was like, oh, look at that. They changed they changed the color of the suede. And I was like, oh, idiot. <laughs> There's a swoosh right there. So I, I should have noticed that. But, you know, um, I kind of missed that. Anyway, but like I said, with the soul of doubling everything, you have that Nike swoosh going through there and the, the main Nike swoosh. Interestingly, and I don't know if I noticed this when I did the last one. I don't know if I noticed that the swoosh actually goes through the other swoosh but i don't think i noticed the actual pattern of it going right through there that line right there i'm pretty sure i kind of missed that I, I think i just noticed that it came under here and finished out here which is just interesting thing to know nothing you know crazy or anything like that um so anyway let's i guess we can bounce back into materials so you got you have so many things on this shoe you have leather you have suede you have different types of uh, material that i really don't even know what to name them specifically so as far as suede goes you have suede on suede on the toe then you have suede on the going through the eyelets all the way around the eyelets go all the way from the top around the bottom and then back to the top um you have this i don't know whether they call it a nylon it almost feels like a north face jacket on the side panels you have that I don't even know what to call that material. I'm going to call it North Face material, North Face jacket material. You have that on the side panels. The swoosh is the swoosh and the heel. The swoosh and the heel are the only places you have that beautiful black leather. It's a softer leather. It's not, it does, I mean, it has a very, very minimal amount of tumbling. But the fact is, really though, that it, it's actually, it's a soft leather. It's not kind of the harder leather that... Sometimes you get on certain shoes. It is a softer leather. It's not super soft like a, uh, actually it's kind of decently soft. Um, I don't want to say like a shadow, like a Jordan 1 shadow. But it, it's actually, it's soft enough, surprisingly soft. The, on, also at the top of the heel, where you have Nike Sakai, which it also, it goes through that loop right there. If you can see that, it goes through the loop. That's also leather at the top. Then you can see um, connected, well, where the loop goes down to the sole, you have your little Nike check right there. Um, let's talk about this little part right here in the back, y'all. That right there, that just looks like a duck to me. Um, God knows. That's the, I, can, I love everything about this shoe for the most part. But it's that duck, this duck bill that I'm not that in love with. And I'm not necessarily sure what this, why this plate is here. It's like a hard plate. I know I have talked about that before, but I don't know why it's there. I don't know why it's so hard. I just, I'm just curious why it's there. I mean, I'd love to get, I don't have a problem per se with it, but I guess when, when, when they design a shoe, I guess I would love to know what the designer's, um, meaning for this was, you know, what, what did it, does it mean to him? For me, all I can see is a beautiful duck. That's, that's what I see. Anyway, um, as far as material, I think the only material I missed, and I'm not sure what this material is myself either, um, this right here, right below the eyelets, and, and it's on both sides of the shoe, uh, it's kind of a, it's not, it's not really a rubber. Well, if it's a rubber, it's a soft, kind of a soft rubber. I guess it's kind of, it's, it's, it's here, it's here, on it won't come off, but it's a soft rubber, and I really just don't know what to say what that material is, guys. I, I have nothing for that one. 
Um, I do find it interesting this the way they um, the swoosh here that goes through the suede. It's almost like if you rub this enough, you feel like this part right here that's on the suede could actually come off. Um, although it's not dirt, it is this, it is the Nike check. It, it kind of looks like it could be dirt if if this wasn't here and this part right down here wasn't here and you just saw this brown here it would just look like they messed up your suede but it's not bad i'm not trying to make fun of it i guess i'm just trying to give a good explanation of how it looks to me in hand um outside of that like i said this is a very very sick um sick this is a very thick shoe in all black um i I've, god i really wish i could have gotten that sale that would have been just the kind of like the the um, cherry on the sundae but i didn't um, one other cool thing to notice right here, and I literally just noticed this. I'm pretty sure I didn't notice this on my last, the last time I reviewed one of these. I didn't realize that the outsole, even though, even though I knew the outsole came up over the toe, I did not know that it was kind of a little slightly anchored into the shoe. It wasn't, it's not kind of like even with the shoe, like, like right here. You know, it's actually literally kind of to the side of it, which like I said, it's not a bad thing. It's just a thing, just something, an observation since we're, for the sake of review here um for the most part sorry guys me and my focus here for the most part that is the entirety of the shoe um god i really wish i had the sale colorway either way um it's not that bad of a shoe um uh, like i said the only thing i would probably ditch if i were to if i had the option was this part here maybe i'd just kind of that out or pull that together somehow actually somehow pull this together and connect it here but either way there's people who like to shoot exactly the way it is and they wouldn't change it and and for that that is a good thing so anyway i'm not going to beat this dead horse guys i just want to thank you once again for tuning in and as i said at the beginning of the video if you are not subscribed to my channel i, I ask that you please subs subscribe and support me and also hit that notification bell so you are notified when i drop a new video so once again just thanks for tuning tuning in and mr gray out